anyway so um, in my field here I, I, I can set the um, transparency which would be more effective I've made a few different size birds oh, actually the, my birds have reset their size this is something I only discovered last night that rev uh, live code uh, resets the size of a bitmap you actually have to uh, go in and um, tell it to lock the sizes and so on so I'm just doing a resize of that and then I'll say lock the size and position so if I want to make smaller birds I have to um, go and do this otherwise when you come back to the card it uh, ends up being a different size um, okay yes for shooting Keith um, alright now oh go back to browsing good now I've resized my birds and I get more of the effect that I wanted to get which is to have uh, smaller birds in the background and bigger ones in the foreground it looks much more effective uh, if I choose another brush like his Mr. Android I can go and drop off uh, Android figure and um, I, I've got another little uh, blue dot here now I'm only clicking as you see it right now um, but I can um, I can drag so if I drag it will draw a series of these and if you watch the speed at which they draw uh, it's not smooth enough to be competition for Photoshop not really um, and the way that I'm doing it is I'm transferring a pixel at, at a time. I'm going through every pixel in the in the brush and dropping it off into this, the equivalent pixel, the four values of the equivalent pixel in the in the background image. If I I have it set up so that if I hold down the shift key, it's going to instead of doing a pixel at a time, it does a whole row at a time. So if I do the same drag while holding the shift key down then all being well there will be a few more um, few more of them than there were when I was not holding down the shift key but they are um, uh, they're opaque so if my screen zoom works here there we go so you can see there that the, uh, the, the alpha transparency isn't there on the ones I just did all right uh, I'm going to do a load of an image now so I have it set up that you can click on the the load button and go and uh, find something to load so here's here's an unlikely looking chap and uh, let's think about wh wh what was he thinking about months and months ago and it was probably about Android and iPhone and things like that so so we could st stick some little Android men around his head and by the way what we've got here if you can remember back to kid pics this is essentially all that was needed to do kids kid pics was stamping uh, shapes on like this oh um, now there's no iPhone so what I can do is if I just take one of my buttons and I'll rename that to to iPhone actually first I'll go grab the picture okay so I just made a copy of uh, one of the existing brushes and the script inside the brush just so you can uh, just see for a minute all that the script is doing is it's putting that particular button into oh I said not a button it's a, an image uh, it's putting that into a global variable which is what the the other uh, the other image is using so now if I choose the iPhone we, we can now stick some iPhones around the place. Now, the slowness of what's going on in here is actually due to the time it takes to set the image data. And um, when Jim was showing that image manipulation stuff last week, you'll have noticed that uh, bigger images took a longer time to update. And it's just that that's the slow part is when you come to set the image data back to uh, its uh, replace its complete contents and um, <laughs> if send me a, a rev server um, icon and I can stick it in or you can stick it in yourself later um, okay to, to show you what the, the speed uh, the delay is the setting of the data I have um, 
I have a, a key check for the command key and when I, uh, by the way, if you hit reload image, it'll just reload the image and it'll clear everything off. Uh, clear everything off. So I'm going to draw, draw some iPhones now, but I'm going to hold down the command key, and I have it that when I hold down the command key, it only updates the image when I release the mouse. So watch this, I'm just clicking and dragging around the place and let go, and there's a whole bunch of, of them. Now, if I do click, if I do Command and Shift, which will then be, it won't update the image until I let go of the mouse, and it also draws the image a row at a time instead of a pixel at a time. So watch what happens. Uh, hundreds of them. So if, if Life Code was able to set the image data quicker, uh, you could do some pretty nifty painting applications, I think. I'm just going to uh, browse through the code. I don't think it's worth going into it in a huge amount of detail because you can look over this yourself later uh, and also might give you a, a minute to think about